In this video, we're going to talk about how to start and stop an ATV312 drive using terminal control, 2R terminal control for your start stop, and also use a potentiometer or I guess any 0 to 10 volt DC reference coming in um, for speed control. Um, first things first from the main display, I want to mention that from the factory, this actually is already set up for you, ready to go exactly as you want it. 0 to 10 volt DC and a start stop from terminals. But if for some reason everything has been changed or programming has been adjusted, um, you can just go ahead and redouble check that for you here in the programming. So first things first, you want to press enter and you want to scroll down to CTL, enter. And it's a good idea to go ahead and get your access level LAC to level 3 in most cases to allow you to have most access. Uh, for our purposes, it's already programmed as such. Uh, if you have to make a change, again, just scroll down to level 3, and then you have to press and hold for about 3 seconds on the enter dial. Okay. Uh, once that's done, escape back to LAC, and then scroll down into the, um, the FR1 parameter, which is the next one down. Enter. And you want this to be AI1. So on this drive, you have three analog inputs. Uh, you have uh, AI1, AI2, and AI3. Um, AI1 is the only one that will accept a 0 to 10. AI2 accepts a negative plus to negative 10, mod, 10 signal DC. And AI3, of course, is a 4 to 20 milliamp or a 0 to 20 milliamp it's a reference. So you want to be on AI1. So make sure you press enter on AI1 here. It should blink once to confirm this. And the next thing you can do, I'll see escape, back, escape back to FR1, is to go down to the parameter CHCF. Um, you can make it separate. Um, it's okay if it's on SIN since it's the same terminal sources, but uh, if, it's on, if it's on separate, then you can also go to CD1, next parameter down and make sure it's on um, terminals. So that's basically it for programming. Um, it's already default like this, like I mentioned before. Now for wiring, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I mentioned before, your logic input number one and 24 volts is your run command and your AI1 and common as your 0 to 10 volt DC. There's also a 10 volt supply as well that can be utilized. Uh, for a 10 volt reference, if you have a potentiometer over three wires, uh, you have the AI1 plus 10 and um, common as needed there. And this is basically how you program an ATV312 drive for uh, start stop from terminals and using a 0 to 10 volt DC reference for speed control.